So today we're speedrunning through Crush the Castle, one of the coolest Flash puzzle games. Now we'll start our speedrun as soon as we click on new game, and then right away we can see what this game is all about. Basically, we have a trebuchet, and we're trying to destroy the castle that houses people like knights, kings, queens, all that sort of stuff. And once we kill every single person in that castle, we win the level. So it's a pretty simple idea, and we start out with pretty weak ammo. Right away we only have a small boulder, which really can't do too much damage, but as we go on we're gonna get better things. And another thing you might notice is we're not really seeing where we're shooting at most of the time. And the reason behind that is I've played so much of this game trying to get a good speedrun that you kind of just learn where your shots are going to go and you don't even really have to look at them. Like for this one, we have to take care of three princesses. Now right away, I'm going to go for the top princess, then I'm going to go for the middle princess, and finally the lower princess. And just through those three shots, we got them all. Now next, we have a really big castle, but a nice thing about this level is the game is actually going to give us three of these tiny boulders at the same time. So we still get five shots total, but with those three boulders, we can do a ton of more damage and yeah we just kind of destroy the castle and then we have this one which is probably one of the worst designed castles i've ever seen in my life like i really do not know what they were thinking for this one it has no base so we kind of just keep throwing our boulders at it and eventually they all die then this one the king thinks he is really safe because he has a lot of padding around him but not above him so for this we're just going to keep aiming into the air and kind of just hoping we hit him this one's kind of luck based but hey it worked out right there then as soon as we make it to the next castle we're going to get the medium stone. We can just do a pretty specific shot and hit all three of our people. Then there's another terribly designed tower, and I really don't know who they're paying to make these, but all we have to do is use our medium stone a couple of times. We're going to aim around the same area because the more we hit that, the more damage it's going to do, and eventually the tower will fall. Then in this one, we have a king who has a lot of padding around him, but with our medium stone, we can hopefully get through him, and that one actually only took two shots, so I'm pretty happy about that. But here is another place where we're going to get some more stuff. Now instead of just one medium stone, we have three. So it's pretty much just like the first time we got three stones, we completely obliterate everybody. It's not even really a contest. I guess there is that one princess, but she died eventually. We didn't even have to do another shot. And then there's the queen and the two knights protecting her but like literally what are you going to do against this thing? And I don't know if they're even really trying to protect themselves, but it's never going to work out for them. Now for this one, we have way too many people we have to take care of. And I think that they think we're not going to be able to kill every single one of them. But the thing about more people is it's just more deaths. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the queen who thinks she is really safe. But what we're going to do here is switch to our medium stone so we can go right in between that hole and hit her on the head. Also, you'll see right there, we did get the large stone, which we will use for this stage. But of course, the medium stone would have been better for the last one. Now for this one, we want to aim it right about there. Because what that's going to do is it's going to use weight to get rid of that entire part of the tower. And then the king is going to fall down and get impaled. Now for this one, there is one weak part of this castle. So we're just going to be aiming for that part. It's kind of specific, but as soon as we get that, the whole thing just crumbles down. And there is still one guy left that we will have to deal with. And that's pretty much just some specific aiming. And he actually died before we got there. So hey, it works out. Now in this one, we have three large stones so again when you get the three stones everything just dies especially on the first level when you can use them they just make these levels way too easy and yeah let's just move on to the next but this one is actually probably one of the harder ones because for this one it is very luck dependent now what we want to do is we want to send our stones at a very specific angle and hopefully hit a bunch of the stuff off then we want to send some more stones and hit both the king and queen but we actually got it first try there which is insane now we move on to another hard level where there is one king who is very safe behind his like concrete walls so we're pretty much just gonna throw a bunch of stones over there and hopefully he's going to die i mean sometimes it will work sometimes it won't but this run is going insanely well now in this one it's just a bunch of people but now we have bombs bombs are kind of insane because they blow up i mean you can already probably see why those are going to be a really good thing so we're just going to keep throwing a couple of them and there are two people left so unfortunately we weren't able to hit them but even the world record messed up on a few levels so we're still doing really good pace now i'm going to restart this level and hope that i do just a bit better and this time it was a lot easier we killed all of them right away so not that much of a time loss at all and for this one what we're going to want to do is switch from the bombs back to our three large boulders because the bombs are nice but when you're just trying to do a bunch of destructive power three boulders is a lot of that as you can see by how dead these people are then for this one it's another one where we're pretty much just sending a bomb over and hoping that everything goes right in these ones, especially with the single bomb, it's a very scary level because so much can go wrong, but I am actually getting really lucky in this one. 
Finally, we're gonna finish off with these three boulders and everybody's just gonna slowly fall down and die. Then we have this one where there's going to be a lot of different people, but now we have the three bombs. So just like every time we got the three rocks, the three bombs is going to just completely decimate everybody. Like you should pretty much just not be going up against this. And at this point, you might be noticing this is an amazing run. We are actually on world record pace, but now we're getting to the second to last level which yeah, this one is completely luck based. Since when you use three ammo at the same time, they're going to go in slightly different directions each time. You can never be completely sure if you're going to succeed on this second to last level. But even with resetting a little bit, we are still on amazing pace, so I wasn't worried about it until I kept failing and failing and failing until finally I finished it at 8.30. But this was still a pretty good run. It's just that is a major run killer. So I was gonna continue it. But then we get to another pretty much RNG level because we have to deal with a lot of people in really good protection. And we just have to hope that our bombs are able to do what we need them to do. Now we messed up the first time, but we can easily get a sub 10 minute. So I wasn't worried about it. And we even got this point where all we had to do was take care of this princess. But she is so well protected. I hate this level so much. And I'm I'm not gonna waste your time. It took me until 12 minutes to when I could finally defeat this level. And yeah, this game broke me. From a nearly perfect run to this. Subscribe if you enjoyed.